right, guys. In the meantime, it does look like our players are starting to fill into the lobby. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup for our grand finals match here. We do see a ban of Peter coming from Vehala and a Kaiser ban from Bra. They have chosen to play on late night for their map pick, and we will see Alice, Cindy, and Nui for Vehala with Ravi, Cindy, and Alice for Bra. And it does look like our players are ready. Everybody eager to get this match underway. So we'll be going ahead and jumping right on into it. In just one moment here. My apologies. I forgot one part of the setup. Let me just get this finished real quick. My apologies here. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this match. Game one of Grand Finals, everybody. We'll have to see how this match will play out for both of these teams. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Late night, Vehala versus Bra for their share of the $1,050 prize pool. Keep in mind, this match is for an additional $105 to each player. A very important match indeed. We see huge exchanges coming out of the early game, actually. Bakery going extremely low. Goku with a nice ult onto Onage. But a lot of damage going the way of Vehala as well. Melon Lord finding damage onto Mint. Domi getting pretty low. Onage, though, almost dead. Does end up dying in the first claim. Does go the way of Vehala. Domi extremely low. Goku extremely low as well. Will Melon Lord be able to find something here? Doesn't look like they find the kills fast enough. No, Mint able to make it back to the objective just in time. Will they be able to get the push? It looks like they kind of fumbled a little bit, but they do manage to take the objective before Vehala can get a second point here. Bakery extremely low. Melonord stunned, but Onage with a beautiful double stun and a triple Ravi ult coming out of Bakery. A kill onto Mint. Domi extremely low. Goku also very low. Domi finally dying here. Goku going to try to stall as much as he can for his team here. Ends up taking a little bit of damage there, but not anything too impactful. Onage, though, now finding enough time to get that point fully reset for his team. Bakery now back, able to find damage onto Domi. Melonord going to drop on the side there, but Bakery, unfortunately, landing on those Alice Mines with his ultimate there. Goku finding a really good Nui ultimate. Getting a lot of damage as well as a kill onto uh, Bra here. Melon Lord finding damage onto Mint, onto Domi. Bakery looking for an opportunity here, does not find it. Onage needs to get back to point now. Unfortunately, jumped over the jump pad. Not a good look for him there, unfortunately, but good damage onto Mint afterwards. Mint with a nice Cindy ultimate to be able to maintain his position on the point. Domi gonna get stunned by Onage's mind there. Mint looking for an opportunity onto Melonord. Finds the damage, but chooses not to follow up. Wants to protect his team. And Bakery with a beautiful triple Ravi ult. Domi unfortunately getting caught there as he tried to ult back to the point. Stuck in the mine now. Melonlord, Bakery, Onage all with a lot of health. Onage with an ultimate ready to go. Mint finding an ult there. Getting stunned though. Melonlord unfortunately unable to continue the combo, but catches Domi again. Bakery with really good damage there. If they can find the kill on the Mint, they could make this game. Unfortunately, not quite in time. Bakery extremely low, but still fighting for his life. Melon Lord not able to make it there in time. Just a just a millisecond short. Finding finding opportunities now. Onage picking up the kill onto Domi. Mint looking for an ult. Finds Bakery with that connection. Onage now looking for another opportunity. Domi unfortunately missing that Alice ultimate. His teammate maybe some miscommunication pushed uh, the opposing team out of the objective. Onage now having to try to contest alone and unfortunately is not able to. Vehala taking the first game in this grand final set. Very impressive play from both teams there. Unfortunately, some, some minor mistakes here and there were just the downfall of the teams. And, of course, the ending uh, with 
uh, Bra being so low and Vehala not finishing their kills actually led to their downfall, unfortunately. We'll have to see if there's any... Sorry, led to the downfall of Bra, not Vehala, but we'll have to see. It looks like there's going to be no adjustments made. We're just going to get straight on into game two. All right, game two of this grand final set between Vehala and Bra. Again, Vehala up one game in the set. We'll have to see what adaptations are made by Bra to be able to find a victory here. But Vehala getting both bombs actually out of the start here. Mint taking a lot of damage early though. Onage able to cover his teammate just barely. Melon Lord finding damage here needs to be able to keep the health for his team though bakery extremely low gonna have his ultimate soon unfortunately gets picked up by goku though melon lord with an ultimate on to goku onish finding the damage onto mint as well and alice ult waiting just waiting to see if he'll be able to trigger it not able to find an opportunity to before dying there bakery now looking for an opportunity of his own melon lord finding a kill mint going extremely low and pushed off of the objective if they can find the kill they can actually claim and they will vehala not able to get a point there now let's see what bra is able to do with their control time onage with about half health melon lord getting put a little bit low now too Goku and Mint both getting stunned, but a nice counter stun position from Domi. Those mines were extremely well placed. Mint now getting caught. Onage caught in the Nui skill, but Bakery's there to hold down the point for his team. Bakery trying to do as much as he can for his team here. Not able to find kills, but that is perfectly fine. A lot of damage coming out of him and enough to hold the objective uh, for them to claim their third point. Now, Vehala all extremely low. If Bra plays this out right, they can kill them at a perfect time here. It looks like they will. They just need to find a kill on a mint, and that will be game for them. Bra taking game two, 1-1 one, one in the set. That just goes to show sometimes leaving your opponents live it, alive is a good thing because you can get the kills later at a more meaningful time where they respawn and they can't get back to the objective in time. Very well played from Bra. See a map change to noon coming from Vehala with no character changes, it looks like. All right, everything's going to be staying the same aside from the map. We're going to go head on over to noon. Definitely a uh, position where that Alice rare ability can really come into effect. Let's go ahead and get into game three and see what's able to happen here. Will Bruh be able to take this newfound momentum and push for the victory to bring Vehala down to the loser's bracket? Or will Vehala find their way out? and take this home for themselves. All right, Mint getting a good bomb onto Onage. Domi taking a little bit of damage early as well. Looks like Bakery holding a full stick of health, unfortunately getting caught there though. And the point does actually drop uh, very, very early here to Vehala, able to find their way on. Bakery looking for opportunities here. Melanor finding the kill onto Domi. Mint finding a lot of damage on a kill onto Bakery. Onage not able to get him out of the objective. Melon Lord though contesting but not able to make it happen. Onage getting caught by Goku who then goes for a reset now. Uh, Bakery looking for an opportunity here. Finds the Ravi ult onto Domi that will claim the objective for them. Goku looking for some stuff with Nui in the air, finds Melon Lord, able to actually get a pretty interesting string of attacks there. Domi getting picked up by Bakery, Onage looking for an opportunity here, Mint getting stunned by that well-placed mine of Onage. Melon Lord now sitting back full health, looking for opportunities with this ultimate, finds a good hit onto Goku, a stun coming out of Domi, not able to capitalize, maybe actually looks like they will. Melon Lord able to get the kill onto Goku just long enough to get the second point for their team. 
Now the control goes to Vehala, almost at their third point now. Bakery with an ultimate, Onage with his ultimate as well. A good triple ult can end up just winning this game for them. We'll have to see what happens here. Unfortunately, though, going right into the new ult of Goku. Bakery now very low HP. Onage, unfortunately, missing that ultimate. But now, the ult from Bakery, unfortunately, not going to be enough. Melon Lord looking for an opportunity, but Goku now picks him up. And that will be game three going to Vehala. Vehala up 2-1 in the set now, heading into game four. All right, bro, opting to take it back to late night. Now, of course, even with juggling the maps, even if they do win here, Vehala will be able to take them back to noon, so they'll have to make an adaptation for noon later in the match. We'll have to see if there's going to be any changes here from Vehala in terms of characters. Okay, Mint is going to be going Ravi, and we're going to be seeing a Cindy pick from Goku. Alright, they choose to stay on the same characters. We'll have to see what these changes will do for Vehala. Going back into late night here. Let's go straight on into game four. Reminder that if Vehala does win this game or the next... They will end up taking Grand Finals in first place. If Bra can make a comeback here and win the next two, they will reset the bracket. Let's go ahead and see what will happen here. Bakery not able to find the claw onto Goku. Goku getting a bomb. Domi also having a bomb there. And the first take goes the way of Vehala. Bra all very low health at this point in comparison. Mint though getting... Oh, Goku got stunned out of his ultimate there. Just kind of noticed that off to the side. That was a really, really good stun there from Onage. Very impactful. A good mine placed in the middle of the map, but unfortunately not able to catch Mint. Melon Lord looking for a kill onto Domi. Not able to find it just yet. Just trying to survive and not make any mistakes. Unfortunately getting caught there. Onage now with not a kill onto Domi. Almost a kill though. Now finds the kill onto Domi. Bakery has his ult ready. Onage also has an ult ready. Gets a stun onto Mint and there is the claim. Three points to Vehala, none so far for Bruh, but we'll have to see what they're able to do with this control now. Onage catching Domi with that stun. Goku, though, with that Cindy ultimate, able to push people off of the point. Not enough, though, to get a claim. Melon Lord looking for an opportunity here. Unfortunately, ults to the side and doesn't get back onto the point in time to control it. Goku now dropping to Melon Lord. Bakery looking for an opportunity here onto Domi, not quite finding it. Has his ult, though, may end up using it now. Not quite. Would have got stunned out if he did. There we go. Now we see the ult from Bakery. Catches two. Goku makes it back in time. There is a big stun from Domi as well. Mint now coming back full health. Looking for some opportunities. Melon Lord able to get Goku out of the point. Mint pushed off as well. The claim goes back to Bra. We'll have to see if they're able to keep control of it this time. A minute 45 left on the clock. If they're going to make something happen, they have to start now. Otherwise, this could, could become a very sticky situation for them. Two points for Bra now. Three for Vehal. Let's see if they're able to find this comeback. Bakery with a good double ult there. And uh, Melon Lord picking up a kill onto Mint shortly after on Domi as well. Bakery looking for damage onto Goku. Not able to find it all. Onage able to get back onto the objective. Will he be able to hold this long enough? No. Mint's ultimate will be able to kill him off. Now a reset from Goku. Can Bra capitalize on this? They're going to need to if they want to take this objective back. A minute left on the clock. Heading into Blue's overtime now. We'll have to see if Bra is able to stay on the objective long enough to contest and eventually take it back through pure attrition. Not quite sure if it'll happen. Melon Lord finding a kill onto Mint Bakery now. Clearing out the point with that Ravi ultimate. 40 seconds on the clock now. Time is running very thin. Domi going for a reset. Melon Lord looking for an opportunity on the Goku. Maybe 
not quite here. They need to find something, though, fast. Unfortunately, point falls again. 25 seconds left. All the ults being used from Vehala. We're going to have to see, can Bra make it make their way back into this objective now? A bomb coming from Goku. Not able to find a connection with it, though. They need to get this objective now. They do not have much more time at all. Goku needs to get taken off the point. Mint needs to get taken off the point. It looks like it may go the way of... Vehala, and it does. Vehala able to hold on and take Grand Finals 3-1 over Bra. A huge congratulations to Vehala on their Grand Finals win of the December Domination Tournament, taking home their $210 per member of their team. We will get in contact with all of the payout winners shortly after the event i will make sure that everybody gets their payouts as well a big congratulations to bra you definitely came out made a show you, you guys put on a great show second place nothing to be ashamed of you played well in this case though vehala was just able to come out on top all very good teams here tonight a great showing from everybody who participated. Let's go ahead and take one last look at the bracket here. Let's go through the memories tonight. Of course, we do see now Vehala versus Bra, that 3-1 matchup, taking the overall victory. But of course, if we take a look back, you know, VBB taking the win over Bra, sending them to loser side, and then they made a run all the way through back to grand finals to get this match just an incredible showing between qualifiers and the finals here tonight an incredible show thank you to everybody who came out to participate thank you to everyone who came out to support the stream who watched who chatted i love you all this community is great and it's only going to get better keep an eye out for more events in the future there will be more planned maybe not anytime soon because this was a big amount of money right now, and I don't know if I'll be able to fund another one anytime soon, but I do plan on hosting more events in the future, um, and I hope you all enjoy. Keep playing, keep grinding, keep getting better. Anybody who's in the Vortex Discord, there will be an after-party hangout in the voice channels, as per usual. Other than that, though, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, the outro playing here and I will catch you all later.